let's take the grater to on this side we're gonna um, grate the piece of onion because we want to add this in the ground beef I know it's hard this because the liquid of the onion can splash on your face without you wanting so well I guess there's nothing that we can do and it's hard to get all the way through the bottom of the onion so in that case be careful with these things because this can cut so uh, slowly and carefully of course try to remove as much as you can from here as you can see I was grating this in a flat uh, plate you will see the reason why I'm using a flat plate but since all the onions well okay since you can see these big pieces of onions they couldn't gra got grated I'm gonna chop it with the knife look what I'm gonna look what I'm gonna do we need to chop this as small as you can very small very small because we want this to disappear within the meat what i'm trying to do is to infuse the meat to get the flavor of the of this of the onion by the way this is a sweet onion which still has the fragrance that can burn on your eyes but not as much if you notice is very thin is very thin as i say we want this to disappear in the meat what's gonna happen is that this is giving flavor more flavor besides the adobo to the meat you see it looks like very small so I'm gonna put it in this plate because like I say this is gonna be in the meat let's try Okay, so here we are. I want to break the ground beef. Why? It's better to bring it to a better shape. And there's not chunks of pieces of meat in the patty. So I'm going to use the adobo and I'm going to season my meat with the adobo without pepper. Not everybody can eat ground pepper. So we are one of those people. So that's the reason I'm using that one. I find useless to put too much of seasoning because technically adobo is salt granulated, garlic, oregano, and turmeric, all in here. So why we want to add more of this since this is already in the adobo? That's what the adobo is about. Okay, so you will notice that the meat starts breaking more apart. That's because of the onion. And if you notice, 
the onion has disappeared oh my god this is a lot of flavor I really like chunks pieces of vegetables but since my my son doesn't like chunk pieces I have to break it down until they disappear in the food so as you can see the meat is very manageable so we're gonna form it in a bowl you see in a bowl this size you see whoops and now press it down a little slowly because we don't want this to open up now you see when you see that try to stick it in since this is uh this meat doesn't have much uh fat this is mostly meat we need to see you see the thickness of this meat so we need this more thinner the thinner the bigger without losing the shape of a circle of course okay now in the middle of this meat let's do it it should be a dent dented dented like a little hole that way when you're cooking it it's cooked evenly okay and here we have it 